But um, yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and cut out all the stuff up here first. So, what do you have to say real quick? One, yeah, head up to like a rage and then through here. Cool. So, the one thing I will tell you, let's walk all the way left so we don't trigger this guy, is absolutely under no circumstances are you to walk through that door. That is a checkpoint. If you do, they'll say, hey man, give us a thousand dollars, and they just take it from you. So, don't do that. It's a dumb idea. Anyway, I will cut and we will fight these guys on this route real quick. So I can handle it if it's just got thrash. It's bite that I'm afraid of. Guess we can just do this all day, dude. He's just as confused as I am. He's like, what the fuck's happening? Alright, thank god. worked out really well because I'm pretty sure that guy's the last trainer on the route so um yeah that means we can basically collect shit real quick um I wanted to put full attention onto Gygus because I want to end the session with him being trade evolved so real quick I'm just gonna meet you at the back of the route okay here is where we started where we fought that little pooter right there I'll put up another pal and there's the checkpoint so we go up here, and then we fight that Puda, and then there's that one. And I want to go down and get that item real quick. I need you. And then from here we just head all the way up. And then there's those two. Yes, that's great. And then from there, it is, up here is the actual Rake of Lage. The Rake. The Rake of Lage. <laughs> yeah, it's a really, it's a really big rake. Um, and then that's where we just were right there, which is good because like over here is a shit ton of items. So I could have just picked up from right there, but I was like, nah, just for the sake of being an intelligent human being, I'll go ahead and grab this shit now. Which I suppose I'm probably not gonna be an intelligent human being because I'm about to run out of space here in a minute. I bet you. And there's a lot of things to cut, not footage, but trees. Which I remember when I first played Pokemon for the first time, Fire Red. <clears throat> it was like, oh, there's a small tree blocking the way. I was like, dude, I've got a Charmander. Like, it knows Ember. Burn it the fuck down. I didn't understand the whole cut thing. But I'm sure as a kid playing, if I did play Original Red, I probably would have thought the same damn thing. You know, it's a tree. I got fire. Burn it. So I never understood that. There's TM43, which... What is that? So we can tell the fine people. Detect! That's not a bad one. It's not one I plan on using, but... Yeah, I, I'll give it a... I'll give it a 4 out of 3. Up here, this guy's got us. You st uh, something. You straight far. Here I have... I have meditated inside me. New power has been awakened. Let me share my power with you. That's hidden power. I know that one for a fact. I thought he was going to give me Meditate. I was like, I don't remember Meditate being a TM. But um, this picks a random type. So if I teach it to Gygus, it might be like um, Fire type. And then if I teach it to uh, Lita, it might be Dragon type or something like that. It's all just totally random. I've been told there's a way you can control it, but they didn't exactly go into specifics. They just said, yeah, you can do it. I was like, I don't understand how. But okay. I mean, I guess you just gotta catch a specific one. So I guess if you want a soft reset a bunch and then get the, the fucking Chikorita with the flying type or whatever to use to your advantage, you could do that. But that kind of seems like a gargantuan waste of time to me. But people do weirder shit, I suppose. Definitely heard that. Alright, so... Yeah, that's everything. That is all the items on this route. So we are going to stop this recording 
Evolve Gigas, and then we will call it for the day. And Hoptart's actually about to evolve too once it levels up, so we're gonna go ahead and put Hoptart on next big focus. But for now, let's see if this recording saves so I can meet you guys in Pokemon Stadium 2. Alright guys, as you can clearly see, it's daytime. Now, another thing to note is that this isn't Pokemon State. Well, I mean, it sort of is. But, right after I finished that recording and saved the game, I said to myself, Fuck! I can't evolve Gigas because I taught it Shadow Ball. So, my choices are either to restart the entire game, to ditch Shadow Ball and go without that, or just to not get Gengar. So... I'm just sticking with Haunter. I know Haunter can do it. It's only like a... I don't know why you say it like that. It sounds big. But it, its stat difference isn't super, super large. Like, it becomes, I think, 115 to 135. So it's stronger, but, like, its stats aren't something to, like, take lightly anyway. So I'll be fine. That's pretty much it. And it felt weird to not leave it where, like, we get the whole Lake of Rage thing done in the episode where we're already there. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out quickly, and then that'll be it for this part. And I'll keep recording, just it'll be a different part. So I guess if you want a complaint, because I've gotten complaints about it before, an intro at the end of an episode, but hey, for this it felt necessary, especially considering the save. Which, since nothing important has happened, let me save real quick. All I did was go a little bit of shopping, and that was it. So, just to make sure I don't go shopping again. Worst case scenario, I'd tell you guys a max potion's up there. But anyway, if we go right over here to this Lake of Rage, which I'm saying correctly. Where are you? Right here, damn it. We try again. Right here, you can see the old man, so you know how far off I was. Yeah, we got ourselves a shiny red Gyarados. This was also the generation where uh, shinies were even introduced that hurt a lot. So, yeah, this one's always going to be a red Gyarados, and believe it or not, that's the only real reason I even bothered buying the uh, 3DS version of Silver, which, after LPing this, I realized is actually quite a bad port. So, since he's doing thrash and bite and stuff, we'll just let Stone Sour take it, because he'll, he'll survive. And that's the other bit, is if I accidentally kill this thing, at least I can restart my save. Which it looks like it can take an... Uh, I'm not going to say another rock slide, but maybe kick to the face or something. So, yeah, okay, here we go. When I was, like, originally, you know, intending to do a playthrough of Silver and stuff, I'm like, alright, we're going to hold off for the Gyarados. Shit, did I just kill it? No! But if we're not careful, it might kill itself. So let's quickly go for this Ultra Ball and hope it doesn't kill. I should have switched over to maybe Gigas and tried putting it to sleep. But there's no guarantee it won't hit itself in confusion. Okay, good. I can handle that. Go ahead and leer at me. No! Okay. Okay. Okay, that was a close one. <laughs> Holy shit, you could hear the heart attack actively in my voice. Yeah, we're just gonna have to stick with this Haunter, but you know what, Haunters? He alright. So, put him to sleep real quick if you could, mate. Yes, it does. Oh, um, here's another thing, because I want to say Dark-type I think is special within the first, technically, two generations, because it wasn't in Gen 1. But I find that so weird to think, because... When I think of a dark type move, the first thing I think of is like bite. So I'm like, okay, physical. But I'm pretty sure it's considered special, which is really weird. 
Anyway, we got ourselves the red Gyarados. And in the decks, it doesn't show it as red, it shows it as blue, but who cares? Uh, for posti yeah, posterity. Posterity sake, sure. We shall name it the Garapunk of Fire Red. Which, if you want an explanation, it was the it was the Pokemon Stadium theme where we would just take a nickname and then we'd just throw Punk in there. And then for my brother, we'd take a nickname, we'd throw Cho in there. It worked really good for things like Charmander and Raichu, because it was Chozard and Raichu. So some of those I just keep. Same goes with Gyarados. There's no other good nicknames I can think. Everyone's just Leviathan, Leviathan. Alright, but you have anything else better? No? Alright. So it's going to be Garapunk until someone persuades me otherwise. This is the lake full of Gyarados, but nothing else. Well, there's Magikarp too. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? Your gold? I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled her there. Gold. <laughs> I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure. Excellent! It seems that the Lakes of Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast is coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Gold. Well, guess what, bitch? I can do that, too. <laughs> and it, it, it wouldn't hurt to heal up, anyway. Considering the not to die. See, what I'm also trying to do is because I did only buy the 3DS version specifically so I could get that Red Gyarados, and since I've already got the Red Gyarados, I'm like, yeah, I don't have to play it anymore. But the truth is I kind of want to keep doing it just so I can, like, practice. And so I can knock it off on my backloggery, too, because I don't like looking at that unfinished, you know?